Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kodash. Double unto the apostles, the bishop, and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations unto the elect. All right. Which starts with 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord. And also, you men, women, and children who believe on Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and it's a Hebrew name. And Yahweh Shai was also a Hebrew name, our Lord, King, and Savior. And they are the power of the Israelites, okay? And that today will be the so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native Americans. And also, you speckled bird Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations, but your spirit and blood are back to your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a lesson the Lord will is edifying, all right? Which means to build up, okay? And it's a big controversy, right? <clears throat> Amongst, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a big controversy amongst the world, and everybody wants to read this Bible, and everybody wants to include everybody in the salvation, okay? And the only ones who are going to receive salvation is the elect of the nation of Israel, man, okay? Because as it is written, two thirds of the Lord's own people who are Israelites are going to be destroyed right here in Babylon the Great. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that right quick to prove what I said. Okay. <clears throat> it's not about your feelings, man. Okay. The Lord doesn't care about your feelings. It's all about what truth is. The truth of the matter is the Lord is going to save the elect of the nation of Israel. And eventually, guess what? According to scriptures, all Israel will be saved in the kingdom. Okay. Because we're going to have sex in the kingdom. And we're going to bring back the nation through sex. Okay? But on this side, in Babylon the Great, two-thirds of the Lord's people will be destroyed. Right? Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass, this, this will happen, that in all the land, this is talking about the land of America, the land of Babylon the Great, the great whore. Okay? Say up the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. See? The two parts are talking about two thirds of the Lord's own people on this side have to die and be reborn in the kingdom. Okay? But you want to include everybody in, in salvation. Once again, salvation is only for the nation of Israel, and it starts with the elect. The heathen nations, they can't repent. They will be uh 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 they will be slaves in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Tributaries. After they serve their slavery, the Lord's going to allow them to let them live, okay? But they're going to be under the rule and authority of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, and the Israelites, okay? But it says, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The third is talking about the elect, man. okay? And once again, it starts with 144,000. And you also have the numeral multitude that it talks about in Revelation 7 and 9. Those who are going to hear this word and believe on Yahweh Shem Shai from the report of the prophets. Okay? The teachers is out here teaching this word. You see? And they're going to come from all different nations. And they're going to look like these nations. But their spirit and bloodline goes back to an Israelite. Because you are who you are according to your father, man. Let me get that. It doesn't matter what your mother nationality is. It's all about the seed. Okay? The seed. The man carries the seed. All right? What do they say when a man um, um, ejaculates in a woman? He busts a what? Oh, he busts a nut. Okay? You are who you are according to your father, man. So it doesn't matter how a person looks. If they can receive this word, they repent. And they turn back to the gospel. As it is written, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. Okay? They are an Israelite, man. No matter how they look, it's not a color thing. Okay? They say Numbers 1 and 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. According to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their pole. Look at this word pedigree, man. 
And for those of you who watch along and you understand the scriptures through the spirit and power, how about you now, You know, this is like, you know this already. But you know what? Time and time again, guess what? We're going to defend the gospel, man. Okay? Yeah, we might sound like a broken record. And if you don't like it, hey, watch somebody else then, man. All right? This ain't no, the, the doctrine that we have is not going to change, man. We're going to defend the gospel. Okay? There's only one truth. Okay, if you're looking for something new or some gimmicks, hey, go watch those other camps, right? We just here to teach the word, man, the truth. But it says the word is your lie. It says to bear, bring forth, beget, gender, travail, all right? To declare one's birth, pedigree. Let's get this word pedigree up. Should like it. Let's see if we get it down there. Matter of fact, it's a strong definition. This is what I wanted. To show lineage. To show lineage. Let's work lineage up, man. It says, lineal descent from an ancestor, ancestry or pedigree. Similar words, ancestry, birth, family, house, heritage, stock, race. Okay? Pedigree, the recorded ancestry, especially of the ancestry of a person or family. That's enough on that, man. It's common sense, man. All right? But like I had at the beginning, a lot of you people are not going to understand because you're not of the elect, man. Okay? Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. See, the rest of you are going to be blinded, man. That's why you can't get it. And this is inspired by a video I was watching earlier. One of the little short videos, man. And um, everybody wants to debunk the Hebrew Israelites. But you can't debunk this doctrine because this doctrine is not of our own. This is of the Lord. See, the Lord is not a liar, man. <clears throat> and every time you try to place everybody uh, uh, mixed into salvation, you're calling the Lord a liar. Okay, the Lord Himself said out His own mouth, right? You claim to believe in the Savior, right? Which His name is Yahweh Shai, by the way. I could tell a person is bugged out. You still calling the Lord JC, man? As soon as you say that name JC, I already know you don't have the truth, man. The Lord has a Hebrew name. He's from the tribe of Judah. He is a Hebrew. Okay, the Father has a Hebrew name. His name is Yahweh. So you come with this, this JC, as soon as you say the word JC out your mouth, I know the Lord not dealing with you, man. Okay? Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, this in red, our Lord, Yahweh Shai speaking. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? Look at this word house, man. This is the Lord said. It say oikos. A house, an inhabited house, the house of God, the tabernacle, any dwelling place. So the Lord dwells in the house of Israel, man. Okay? The place where one has fixed his residence, one settled abode. <laughs> Stock, family, descendants of one. Come on, man. Hey, man, that's, that's plain, man. The Lord dwells. His spirit dwells with Israel, man. Okay? The Lord, we are the Lord's people, man. He made a covenant with the nation of Israel. Let's get this in Psalm 50 and 5. It say, uh, Psalm 50 and 5. It say, gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Okay? Let's see what the word covenant mean. You know what it means, agreement, right? Let's look it up anyway. Right? It's um bar bar barayaf. Barayaf. A covenant, alliance, a treaty, alliance, a pledge, alliance, friendship, alliance, a marriage. And the Lord say, I'm married unto you in Jeremiah. Okay? Covenant. It's a uh confederacy, made a league. All nations didn't make a covenant with uh, the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Let me check this out right quick. Sometimes you have a precept right here. 
This is uh <laughs> This is this this perfect. Let's go here. This is perfect. This is um Exodus 24. And look at this head. It say people affirm their covenant with the most high, right? Now we know Moses, he was a Levite, right? He's he's from the tribe of Israel, the nation of Israel, right? It say Exodus 24 and 3. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord. And all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which the Lord hath said, we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, and built it an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. <laughs> right? And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrifice, peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord, and Moses took half of the blood and put it on basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord have, sa have said we will do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord Yahweh have made with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moses, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel. Come on, man. The Israelites are the people that the Lord made a covenant with, man. He didn't make a covenant with all nations. Okay? You people don't understand what you're reading, man. Once again, every time you try to include other nations into uh, salvation or repentance, you're calling the Lord a liar, man. All right? And we know, we know what the scriptures say. Let me get this right quick. We'll come back and end it on that. Right? As the scriptures say, right? Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shai, Habmashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. All right? The Lord don't change. So what he said yesterday, it's the same today and forever, man. All right? Psalm 147 and 19. He saw his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. See, he have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you, Lord. Yahweh by Shem Shai. So the Lord only loves Israel. That starts with the elect, man. All right. So I don't care how intellectual you think you are. All right. And you even have people talking about, we're going to read what the scripture says. What the scripture says, what we just read. See, a lot of you people are not the elect. That's why you can't receive it, man. The Lord has not opened your mind to understand this truth, man. Okay? So, at the end of the day, man, the Lord only came for the nation of Israel, and it starts with the elect. All right? And the other nations will be slaves in the kingdom of heaven, man. Point blank, period. That's it. So, Lord, well, this last with Edifan, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Bakar, Kodash, Shalom, Kwame, Sharala, to the elect.